All right, Lou Santiago here at SEMA 2016 in OPGI's booth, and I've got the man, David Leonard. He is the guy that started it all. So, Dave, how old is the company for the people out there who might not know? So we started in 1982. Okay. And initially we started off uh, with uh, specializing in the GMA body, specifically the Chevelle, like the one we have behind us. And uh, over time we expanded those lines to include GTO, uh, Cutlass 442, Skylark, uh, and really all, all the all the GM body, uh, A body lines. We we do Monte Carlo, and El Camino is a big one for us as well. Got you. And you know, about five years ago, uh, six years ago, I've always wanted to to do this. Uh, my grandfather had a, a Cadillac that he used to drive around in when we uh, lived in Detroit, right. you know, downtown Woodward Avenue and all that. And I actually started a classic Cadillac line. So we sell vintage uh, Cadillac parts for the 50s, 60s, and 70s. Cool. Yeah. See, there you have it, the Cadillac. That's the hot ticket. Now, because, you know, you got to be cool to roll in a Cadillac. You know what I'm saying. That's cool. I like it. It's my daily driver, 76 Eldorado. He mentioned that he had a Chevelle at one time. Now, the story I had heard was that it was a 72 Chevelle, and he didn't know what happened to it. So they built this thing behind us. This is not the original Chevelle that they had, but you gotta hear this story about the Chevelle. So I'm gonna have them make it short so you get the down and dirty. So so I had a 72 SS350 Chevelle right. that I bought uh, 1986, 87 from one of my customers. And um, he just was selling it. So I said, yeah, I'd like to buy it. And I drove that thing around for about four or five years. I took my children in it and it became my daily driver. And uh, frankly, it was a 72 SS350. Right. And we started using it uh, as a test fit car to produce uh, some of the parts that we make, like some of the pieces from the hood, some of the moldings, some of the headlamp pieces, and you know bumpers and everything. And you know it got to a point where the car was unrecognizable. Uh, we were you know we were cutting doors off of it and everything. <laughs> and I and I really just wanted to someday have that car back again. Right. So even though the one behind us is a '70. It's not a 72. Right. It's a super sport, uh, and it is a big block, and that was a small block, and it does have different suspension, like Hotchkiss and, and things, and it has a lot of um, upgrades in it that really didn't come with the car origi right. originally. So it's so it's really a Maresto mod, and and that's kind of why we're calling it the executive car, because I you know I built it so I could drive back and forth to work in it and and enjoy it, and and so that's the story. When you have the dedication to a car like that, the 72 Chevelle, it obviously means something. And that's what this industry is all about. It's all about the love of the car. And guys like David Leonard and the crew at OPGI, they're the ones who are helping you, the consumer, fulfill that love of the car. So if you've got a Pontiac, a GTO, you got to love them, a Chevelle, a Cadillac, an El Camino, a Monte Carlo, these are the guys you need to talk to because they've got your stuff, and if they don't have it, they can at least point you in the right direction, like they just did a few minutes ago with a gentleman with a Corvette. It's not their core group, but hey, they know people in the game. So there you have it, Lou Santiago, Dave Leonard from OPGI. What more could you ask for? It's SEMA 2016.